check it out. Mobile Studio is alive. We got it all. Everything's all ready. Time to paint. Plot twist, we're in the studio now, and I'm changing up this painting because I don't like it. I usually feel like this during the beginning stages of painting projects, and then I usually kind of persevere, but this specific style of shapes, design orientation, I'm just not feeling it, so I'm, I'm not gonna do anything crazy, but I'm just gonna change the structure of the face, do some glazes, yeah. So this last step that I painted over kind of looks like I almost ruined it or I completely covered the painting, but a lot of people really don't understand glazes. I definitely didn't when I was starting out painting, but that's why I love this matte medium because it really thins down the paint to where it's like pretty transparent. And you know, the point of a glaze is to just kind of bring everything together. It kind of blends it all. I mean, in this case it did because I used a similar color, but you know, thin tints of paint are used to like bring out more color or do other things in this case I'm you know glazing the entire face because I want it all to like you know be unified with this color it's a pretty fun way to paint and it actually can do a lot it is a kind of weird technique to learn but you know it's it's cool to start thinking about not just using the paint from the tube you know if it's really thin or really thick and you know watering it down using thin layers lots of layers I've been doing that a lot for this painting and I'm, I'm excited to keep going. I uh, thought I'd just mention that. Let's keep going. So we finished her up, she looks great, I'm super excited. We did the final outline, did the baby blue background just to accent these light blue highlights. I thought it would work well, this reddish purple with blue background, never done that before. I thought it'd be a good time to try that color combo out. It's super awesome, this was a super improvised painting. It started as something, I really didn't like it stylistically, so I changed it and kind of just went with it, tried some new things. It's a great example of using thin layers of paint. I did probably like 20 glazes 
that you saw that really helped blend you know the structure together and then once I had it like where I wanted I just put in really dark parts and really light highlights which make like the eyes and nose pop so on the value scale really dark really light and then the middle values there's not much variation if you're interested in what's going through my brain and how that works also I did a varnish for the first time on this acrylic painting and varnishes where is it varnishes just make it pop a little more it's obviously glossy and you can see there's this big glare from the light and it's a little streaky I could have done a better job but it was my first time a little trial run it still looks great varnishes just like crush the blacks bring out the color it looks really good I'm glad I tried it the next time will just be that much better and if you're ever interested in what I'm using like mediums brushes paint kind of my utilities and tools the last video I uploaded was t talking about everything I use for paintings and artwork so if you're interested or have ever wondered go check that out link will be somewhere and uh, yeah hopefully you learned something hopefully you enjoyed this super fun project just have fun no real rhyme or reason just painting to paint and get better and progress as a human being and artist see you in the next video Whew.